Another domino seems to have fallen, and one of my favorite Yankees of 2022, Matt Carpenter signed a two-year contract with a player option for 2024. Carpenter is guaranteed 12 mil and could earn a maximum of 21 mil over two years if he exercises player options and all of his salary escalators and incentives are earned. If you guys want to break down the contract, it pretty much goes like this. He gets 3 mil signing bonus, a 3.5 mil in 2023. He gets a 5.5 mil player option for 24, 500k for each 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, and 550 plate appearances in both 23 and 24. And in 2024, his base salary will be increased by 500k for each 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550 plate appearances. Now, that's the contract. But the best part is you guys got Matt Carpenter, which is pretty much the Barry Bonds of the Yankees last year until he actually got injured in St. Louis, rest his soul. But anyways, you got you got Matt Carpenter, a dude that literally revitalized his career with the Yankees after being sent down from AAA and being pretty much a icon for the St. Louis Cardinals for the early 2010s. If you want to look at his stats, compared to last year, he did 305 batting average, a 412 OBP, a 727 slug, and a 1.138 OPS. That is insane for a 37 year old. In 2021, Matt Carpenter had half of those stats. He had a 169 batting average, a 305 OBP, a 275 slug, a 581 OPS. It did not compare to a season with the Yankees. Last year, Matt Carpenter hit 15 home runs and 128 plate appearances and had 37 RBIs on top of that. If you give this guy you know, a little more time and a little bit more at bats where he didn't have to share with Giancarlo Stanton on the Yankees in 2022, or, you know, platoon him. Maybe maybe give him at least 200 at-bats. I'm seeing Matt Carpenter be a guy that probably is going to play every day with the incentives they are giving him in the Padres system. So, Matt Carpenter is going to be that guy that's going to really go out there and swing for the Padres, man. I'm excited to see what the Padres are going to do. Because you got Matt Carpenter, you got Manny Machado, so you got Xander Bogarts, you still Juan Soto on that team, and you got a bunch of other pieces that are going to be really good on the Padres now that I'm thinking about it this is a really exciting signing if you're a Padres fan because if this guy can keep up with those stats he had last year which I don't know maybe it'll happen maybe it won't if he could keep up with that that new revitalized swing he has Matt Carpenter is going to be a demon on the Padres. He is going to hit home runs left and right especially with the crone zone bro. Padres fans how do you feel about this? Do you guys think it's okay to take a risk on someone like Matt Carpenter that's 37 years old? Or do you think it's like kind of messed up and they should have picked up another bat? Maybe instead of Matt Carpenter, they should have went for JD Martinez or something. But what do you guys think? You guys think this is good or bad? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Joe, aka I'm Hitch sometimes on my other channels. Thanks for watching. Bye.